and I am the founder and director of CEDA Inc. Community Empowering Development Association. And today what we're doing is hosting a higher ground uh, event which deals with the United Flooded States of America issues. Uh, here in Port Arthur, Texas, we flood and we vote. And we are here to get people together to help them to understand some of the resources that are out there and what they can do to help eliminate the flooding in their communities. So, united together, we can make things happen. And the United Flooded States of America campaign is on point and ready to go. And I flood and I vote. And we got more people who vote coming to this event today. We're going to have food, music, and lots of great conversations. So we are united. The United Flooded States of America will take no more. Um, my apartment was on the second floor, but the water was so high, we wasn't able to like get out, like get food or anything. Cause the water on like Turtle Creek Drive, it was like extremely high, and they had to use boats and all of it to like try to get people out and stuff. And it was, it was one of those devastating things. And and with the kids, they were scared and everything. Wasn't able to leave or anything at all. So many places still not together. So many homes still not built. Like it's not even home. Let's get Puerto Rico back together. They see the kind of floods we have now. And it's happened more than one time. So they should have it under control now. And what would you say to state representatives like Randy Weber or lawmakers? What would you want them to know that we need for flooding? We need better drainage systems out here. And because they're not, it's going to continue to be the same thing over and over again. I'm just telling you about for my boyfriend's story because he's in the house and he got flooded out. His experience is worse, but he's still bad. It's still raining like today in his home. The really water came up to the part like his, he got a porch. And the step, you can step up, the water was like that when you get ready to get oh, wow. in his home. Okay. Yeah. That's why they had to come in with a boat to get him. Oh, him and his dog. So what is he, is he well, still experiencing it? Well, he's something? still experiencing because the roof's still leaking. It's still leaking. Yes, ma'am. Wow. They hadn't got it fixed. Uh, <laughs> they give me a hard time, and this is two years later, mm -hmm. you still got water coming down. That is. Oh, Lord of Jesus, I'm glad I've been through some hurricanes. So, you know, it's not the only one. I mean... It just was bad. It, it was. It was sad. Oh, it, it just was. It was really bad. It was just. I just thank the Lord we do have our life. So you know, I thank Him for that. And I know a lot of people still hurt. Exactly. And I pray for them. I really feel for them. Mm -hmm. I really do. You just have to speak. Like you know, he'll just say you got to speak up. Mm -hmm. And you know, you might get you some help. And well, what would you like to say to your local government? What would you want them to know? What would you want them to know? What would you want them to do? I mean, the, the help us. The help the people need help. Okay. That's what I want them to do. I'm speaking for everyone, not just myself. And would, you what know. would you say to um, state lawmakers? Uh, the same, the help. <laughs> just help. <laughs> yeah. All right, help. Like, okay. And let them come out and just talk, speak. Exactly, yeah. that's yeah. right. Yeah. And I, I'm asking people to come back to Port Arthur too, okay. because I was raised here, and Port Arthur is a good place to stay. And uh, I'm asking them to come back. We have a new change, we have a new mayor, and we have people that care about us. You know, the families are uh, struggling, trying to get their homes fixed, and uh, a lot of them still have, you know. Uh, gotten their homes fixed up yet, yes. you know, and these people have worked all their lives for these homes, mm -hmm. and uh, they need help, and they got these billions of dollars, and nobody's helping them, yes. you know, and I just want them to let them, let them know that we love Port Arthur, okay. and we want That's to right. get Port Arthur back mm -hmm. the way it was, yes, and when we want leadership, strong leadership, you know, come out and help the people, talk to the people, yes, you know, because they, they don't know what to do, they're devastated. Right. And then my granddaughter called me and told me that water was coming into my mom's apartment. So that's when I found out it was here in Port Arthur that the flooding was so bad. My mom called me and told me that they didn't know what to do, and my daughter, she had a truck, so I thought, well, maybe she could drive out, and she said, no, I can't. 
Florida is, was that high. So they were in their apartment for a couple of days before they started getting some assistance, you know. The uh, uh, National Guard uh, came in a boat and okay. got them out. Oh. But my mom, she lost everything. Everything. She had, she tried a different organization and she never got any help. She ended up going to, into debt. devastating because I didn't know what to do. So the next day he said, you ain't out yet. I said, no. He says, I'm coming to get you. I got my boat in the water. I've been rescuing. I'm coming to get you now. And when we got to where he launched the boat at, it blew my mind when I got in the truck and I'm seeing all this water everywhere. And I'm going like, wow. I didn't think it was like this. And I hitchhiked to Dallas, babe, and I stayed with them for about a week. And I said, I, I gotta go back. So as soon as I found out that the water has retrieved, and I drove back, and uh, I saved my money up again. But it was no apartments around here, so I had to go to Beaumont. And all of a sudden, mold started coming up. So here I am again back homeless. I said, I can't stay here. Mm -hmm. and so uh, I came back to Port Arthur and uh, started saving my money up again. I lost uh, my car, all my clothes, everything in the house. I have never been in, I have, I didn't get no help from Fina. I didn't get no help from nobody, you know. And I do pay taxes. I do vote. This flood, it's, it's no joke. Where we live, we're talking snakes, we're talking alligators. You don't know what's in the water. I think they need to not just look at the big cities that get damaged, but they need to also check on the little places. Because I think Port Arthur was just forgotten about. Well, we got people right here too that needed the help, just like the people in Houston did. It was, it was a hurting feeling. Everybody lost their homes. So. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of people in the community pretty much, you know, love the Port Arthur had to leave and move off due to a storm. People um, that are still homeless and still staying with other people as well, um, always talking about that they need help and, and can't get help. People, people that work so hard for their belongings, their houses, and their families, you know, was end up being hurt and sick and had to be rescued. It's, it's all about trying to keep the community, you know, safe. People want to move back in their homes, their houses. Everybody have a stir, and everybody's stir on this incident is the same.